Hey there, how are you doing? We welcome you all to the hands-on impressions video of the Windows 10 Mobile's latest Insider Preview build. Microsoft has last pushed the build 14915 to Insiders in fast ring and here we are with our impressions video. In this video, not only we will talk about the um, and uh, we'll not only talk about and we will not only evaluate the performance, multitasking, etc. We will also share how uh, the build behaves in terms of uh, a daily driver. So, like we are using this build on our uh, daily driver device. We will also talk about the installation experience and any bugs or issues that we have encountered or faced with this build. So. <laughs> let's start let's begin with the installation experience so the installation experience for this build has been quite good very smooth on our multiple devices that we uh, installed it on you could see that the build took around 40 to 45 minutes for uh, the entire installation uh, kind of restart and then uh, restore of the data and the device uh, being up and running so it is quite good actually we did not face any issue so you will have to just go to uh, I mean uh, check for updates and you will see the build it, but provided that you are enrolled to the fast ring so you can go and uh, do the enrollment if you're not enrolled to the fast ring so here uh, in our case the installation experience has been quite good so now coming to other uh, other like evaluation so surprisingly this build comes without any known issues so <laughs> that is a bit surprising so obviously there may be bugs and issues here and there but uh, if you talk about the change log the official change log it claims that there are no issues so basically if you talk about our experience with the build till now it is really good so that's something we have to admit that we were not able to see i mean any any anything which uh, you should uh, say that okay because the fast ring build usually we expect it to be crashing here and there there may be a bit of bugs in uses but you don't see anything here so that is quite surprising and i mean that shows that microsoft is not uh, has not injected uh, you know new code especially when it comes to mobile so if you go to the pc then the build 14915 has got issues on pc but if you talk about the mobile we are not able to you know find lots of issues or bugs so you see the scrolling part etc it will be really good the navigation has been good but yes there is one thing which we can tell you uh, here only so i don't think whether it's a change or uh, it's an issue so earlier it was possible to you know go back to uh, i mean scroll up the action center or collapse the action center but just you know swiping up from anywhere but it does not happen now so it's i mean hopefully it's a bug and Microsoft has not done it by design because it's 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 crazy. I mean, why would you do that? Because it was pretty convenient to you know just pull it up or swipe it up from anywhere and collapse it. But now it's not possible. You have to all the way go to bottom and then swipe up. So it's a, not a good change, and it's hopefully it's a bug which Microsoft will take care of. Now coming to how uh, everything else we have. So Action Center we have seen is quite good, smooth. Things work fine if you go to settings you check the navigation of the settings and it does not disappoint you at all so it's it is as good as smooth that we have seen it on uh, redstone or anniversary update very fast actually and that too uniform or homogeneity is there so that is really good So I like this feel of you know homogeneity or like uniformity across the OS. Everything like is working fine. Uh, there are like no extra or nothing which can actually surprise you throughout the navigation. So this is good actually. So that's what I'm saying. I mean you would hardly notice any 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 difficulty even if you compare to anniversary update. The navigation part, scrolling part, it remains as good as it was with the anniversary update. So there is our doubt that uh, not lots of code has been injected. We, we just found one change and that change is not desirable. So, uh, I mean, we should not uh, be going to the bottom to, you know, swipe it up. Now coming to how uh, other things work. So let's talk about the multitasking. So if you go to the multitasking, here we have two games open in background, but still the device was, uh, I mean, kind of, you could see, have seen that 
it, it is all working fine so now if we try to open the subway surfer which is uwp app you can see the resume really works so well it's instantaneous Okay, so here is one game that you saw, it works quite well, resumes so well, rolls so fast. This is one non-UWP game, which is Rail Rush. We will also try to see, but still it resumes quite well. So, it, it works fine. So, we have been with two games open in background, we have not seen uh, many issues or crashes, etc. So there we are we can see that gaming works fine and even with two games open in background i mean things are so smooth so fine there are no crashes no issues we can now open some apps and we can actually check how the work so one of the most uh, you know error prone app or which gives lots of issues is store but the store you can see is well sorted out here we don't see many issues with updates etc or like uh, crashing so microsoft fixed that issue which you i mean kind of was stopping uh, you to move apps from sd card to uh, device or device to sd card so that error is gone and it's not possible it's not possible to do that and there are no issues with the app updates as far as store is concerned even we have not seen anything crashing or any 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 anything else happening which is uh, which can hamper your experience with the store with the build so it is quite good actually so uh, let's talk about the browsing part. <clears throat> browsing also has been quite good for us. We can try opening more uh, sites here. Okay, seems like some kind of issue with the network maybe. Okay, okay, I think there is issue with the... Okay, so here we can also test what the mobile data works fine. So now uh, the loading is happening on the mobile data itself so it works fine so both the things like mobile data is working fine and we have just seen that wi-fi was also working fine for us so there is no issue okay let's talk about swapping the tabs it's quite good We can quickly check the HTML5 score whether there is any improvement or not. And it's as good. So S14 or Microsoft Lumia 640. Okay. So this is how uh, the browsing works and it works quite good. You will not find or you will not see uh, any issues. Whatever you want to do works fine. And obviously the good part is that uh, you, you don't see kind of like uh, crashing or uh, multitasking issues. Those are not here. Those uh, are well taken care of. So that is also surprising that uh, even with, I mean, I think the fast build builds are not it uh, coming with lots of changes or in codes.
code changes it's always as fast as it can be So with that we come to end of this video okay uh, we can talk about battery life a bit before going to uh, that thing so if we go to the battery server and uh, we have like now uh, been running this build for like uh, i think somewhere around 24 to i mean some 36 40 hours and, and we can tell you that uh, the battery life is quite good there are no issues uh, if you compare even to the anniversary update the battery life is quite sorted out it's not giving any issue to us till now so quite good at so with that we come to end of this uh, review hands-on review of the build one for 915 and as we said it comes really is a solid build uh, the the change log does not mention any known issues and it's so far has not given us any headache it runs fine as a daily driver build for us and not on one device on many devices the only issue that we found is with this action center collapsing so now you swipe up you have to go all the way to the bottom to swipe it up to collapse with action center this is not good not desirable so hopefully uh, i mean uh, microsoft takes care of it and it should be from anywhere you should be able to swipe up and close the action center so with that uh, we'll say thanks for watching the video stay tuned for more